believe and act on your faith. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, today I would like to talk to you about a message of encouragement that can help us all grow in our spiritual lives. That message is to believe and act on your faith. As Christians, we are called to put our faith into action, to walk in the ways of the Lord, and to live according to His will. In the Gospel of Matthew, Jesus tells us that if you have faith as small as a mustard seed, you can say to this mountain, move from here to there, and it will move. Nothing will be impossible for you. Matthew 17, 20. This is a powerful statement that reminds us that even the smallest amount of faith can move mountains. It also reminds us that faith is not just a feeling or an intellectual exercise. It is something that we must live out in our daily lives. Believing in God is the first step, but it is not enough. We must also act on our faith. James 2.14, 17 tells us that faith without works is dead. It is not enough to simply believe in God. We must also demonstrate our faith through our actions. Our faith should be evident in the way we live our lives, in our relationships, in the choices we make, and in the way we serve others. One way to act on our faith is to obey God's commandments. Jesus said, if you love me, keep my commands. John 14, 15. We show our love for God by obeying his word and living according to his will. This includes loving our neighbors as ourselves, forgiving others, serving those in need, and spreading the gospel to others. Another way to act on our faith is to trust in God's promises. We must believe that God is faithful and that He will fulfill His promises to us. As it says in Hebrews 11, 1, faith is confidence in what we hope for and assurance about what we do not see. We may not always understand God's plan, but we can trust that He has our best interests at heart and that He will guide us through the challenges we face. Finally, we must also act on our faith by sharing it with others. We have been given the great commission to go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything I have commanded you. Matthew 28, 19, 20 we are called to be witnesses for Christ, to share the good news of salvation with others and to help them grow in their faith. Beloved brothers and sisters, I encourage you to believe and act on your faith. Let us not be content with simply believing in God, but let us also demonstrate our faith through our actions. Let us obey God's commandments, trust in His promises, and share our faith with others. As we do so, we will grow in our spiritual lives and become more effective witnesses for Christ. This leads us to Hebrews 11.6, which says, And without faith, it is impossible to please God, because anyone who comes to Him must believe that He exists and that He rewards those who earnestly seek Him. This verse is a reminder of the crucial role that faith plays in our relationship with God. Firstly, this verse emphasizes that we must believe that God exists. This may seem obvious to some, but in a world that is increasingly skeptical of religion and the concept of God, it can be challenging to hold on to this belief. We must remain steadfast in our conviction that God is real and that He is the source of all goodness and truth. But belief alone is not enough. The second part of this verse tells us that we must earnestly seek God. This means that we must actively pursue a deeper relationship with Him, seeking Him with all our hearts, minds, and souls. This involves reading and studying the Bible, praying regularly, 
attending church and fellowship with other believers, and seeking opportunities to serve and share our faith with others. Furthermore, Hebrews 11.6 reminds us that God rewards those who earnestly seek Him. This is not to say that our faith is a means of earning rewards from God, as if we could somehow earn His favor through our actions. Rather, it is a reminder that when we seek God with all our hearts, He blesses us with His presence, guidance, and grace. As we grow in our faith, we experience the abundant life that Jesus promised in John 10.10. 10. Hebrews 11.6 is a powerful reminder of the importance of faith in our lives. It calls us to believe in God, to earnestly seek Him, and to trust in His promises. As we do so, we will find that our relationship with God deepens, our faith grows stronger, and our lives become more abundant and fulfilling. May we always strive to please God through our faith and obedience to His will. Before miracles happen in your life, you have to believe, and you have to have faith that God will do. You see, believing is a fundamental aspect of experiencing miracles in our lives. In the Bible, we see many examples of individuals who experienced miracles when they believed in God's power and trusted in His promises. One example is the story of the woman who had been bleeding for 12 years and was healed by touching the edge of Jesus' cloak. Jesus said to her, Daughter, your faith has healed you. Go in peace and be freed from your suffering. Mark 5, 34. This woman believed that Jesus had the power to heal her and acted on that belief by reaching out to him in faith. Her faith allowed her to receive the miracle of healing that she had been seeking for many years. Similarly, we see in the story of the feeding of the 5,000, John 6, 1, 14, that a boy's small offering of five loaves and two fish became enough to feed a multitude when Jesus blessed it. The disciples initially doubted that there would be enough food to feed the crowd, but Jesus urged them to have faith and trust in God's provision. When they did so, the miracle of the multiplication of the loaves and fish occurred. Believing is not always easy, especially when we face difficult circumstances or when we cannot see a way out of our problems. However, when we choose to believe in God's power and trust in His promises, we open ourselves up to the possibility of experiencing His miracles in our lives. As it says in Hebrews 11.1, 1, Now faith is confidence in what we hope for and assurance about what we do not see. In addition to believing, we must also act on our faith. Just as the woman with the bleeding reached out to touch Jesus' cloak and the disciples distributed the loaves and fish, we must take action that demonstrates our faith in God's power and provision. We can do this by praying for God's help and guidance, by seeking the support of other believers, by serving others in need, and by sharing our faith with those around us. Believing is essential to experiencing miracles in our lives. As we choose to believe in God's power and trust in His promises, we open ourselves up to the possibility of experiencing His blessings and miracles. May we always strive to believe and act on our faith, knowing that God is faithful and able to do immeasurably more than we could ever ask or imagine. Ephesians 3.20 Now, no matter what situation you're going through right now in your life, I must warn you that even if we believe, we cannot please God without faith. That is absolutely true. The Bible tells us in Hebrews 11.6 that without faith, it is impossible to please God because anyone who comes to Him must believe that He exists and that He rewards those who earnestly seek Him. 
This verse emphasizes that faith is an essential aspect of our relationship with God. Faith is the foundation of our Christian life. It is through faith that we are saved, as it says in Ephesians 2, 8, 9, for it is by grace you have been saved, through faith. Then this is not from yourselves, it is the gift of God, not by works, so that no one can last. Our faith in Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior is what makes us children of God and grants us eternal life. In addition to our salvation, faith is also crucial for our daily walk with God. When we have faith in God, we trust in His character and His promises. We believe that He is good and that He has good and that He has a plan for our lives. As we trust in Him, we are able to experience His peace and His provision in our lives. Furthermore, faith is essential for obedience to God's commands. In Romans 1.5, Paul speaks of the obedience that comes from faith. When we have faith in God, we are motivated to obey His commands out of love and reverence for Him. Our faith gives us the strength and courage to follow God's will even when it is difficult or goes against our natural inclinations. Ultimately, our faith is a key aspect of our relationship with God. It is through faith that we are able to please Him and experience His blessings and miracles in our lives. May we always strive to deepen our faith in God, trusting in His goodness and His promises. As we do so, we will find that our relationship with Him grows stronger and we are able to live a life that is pleasing to Him. To conclude this message, here are a few examples of how we can put our faith into action in real-life situations. 1. Praying for others One way to put our faith into action is to pray for others who are going through difficult times. We can offer our prayers to those who are sick, struggling with addiction, experiencing financial difficulties, or dealing with any other life challenges. By praying for them, we demonstrate our faith in God's ability to heal, provide, and comfort. 2. Serving others Another way to put our faith into action is to serve others in need. We can volunteer at a local food bank, donate clothes to a homeless shelter, or offer to help a neighbor who is going through a tough time. By serving others, we show our faith in God's command to love and serve others as ourselves. 3. Forgiving others Forgiveness is another way to put our faith into action. When someone hurts us, it can be difficult to forgive them, but through faith, we can choose to let go of the hurt and bitterness and extend forgiveness. By doing so, we demonstrate our faith in God's command to forgive others as we have been forgiven. 4. Sharing the Gospel Sharing our faith with others is another way to put our faith into action. We can share our testimony, invite others to church, or simply have a conversation with someone about our faith. By sharing the gospel, we demonstrate our faith in God's power to transform lives and bring salvation to those who believe. 5. Trusting in God's provision. Finally, we can put our faith into action by trusting in God's provision for our lives. This means relying on Him for our daily needs, trusting that He will provide for us financially, emotionally, and spiritually. By trusting in God's provision, we demonstrate our faith in His goodness and His promise to take care of us. In summary, putting our faith into action means praying for others, serving those in need, forgiving others, sharing the gospel, and trusting in God's provision for our lives. These actions demonstrate our faith in God's power and love and allow us to live out our faith in practical ways. Thank you for listening to this message. And thank you for your faith in our God. I pray that He will remember you and fulfill all the desires of your heart according to your faith. In the name of Jesus Christ, I prayed.
Amen.